Hey everyone, Operator7 here. Well, I mean, this is the video review of the Generation 3 round rail from Madbull. And uh, this is a very interesting rail. It's very lightweight, it's made out of polymer, and it's very easy to grab. And you can control whatever you want to put your rails, which is very interesting for me because, well, generally I don't carry many accessories to the field. And uh, so this allows me to, if I want to have a lot of accessories, I'll just install these rails or else I'll, I'll run, I'll, I can even run it without any rails, okay? And uh, this, the, the great benefit of uh, this solution is really the weight reduction. Uh, and it, if, you, if you compare the, the weight from, say, uh, even uh, a, g a generic rail like this one, Cooperate like this. This is much heavier than than the solution. So it will it will help you a lot, say in CQB games or or games where you you would rather to run a lighter weapon solution. Then this is the way to go for you. Um, this is a very easy to install uh, rail system. Um, they've included this small pin, which I honestly don't know what it's for. So if you know, go ahead and tell me. It's very, very simple. So you've got these three small rails and a larger one. There's really no, no, <laughs> no standard way of putting them. You can put them, install them, whatever way you want to. Uh, this is one of the great benefits of the system. And what you've got to, to look for is that you, you need to uh, run these small plates beneath the, the rail and then it's place the rails on top and then you screw them on like this so this this is what you have to do in order to install the rails on on the round rail okay so i'm going to install just one and uh, so that you'll see how it is and then we'll pick up from from the from the part where <laughs> if all of them are already installed, okay? This is a lot, a lot harder to do in camera because I'm not looking at them from the top. I guess I have to first thing right there. Okay, there you go. Second one. Okay. And this is the third one. Okay. So, just going to tighten them up a little bit. And there you go. So, the first rail is already set up. And uh, this, could be, this could be, for instance, the top rail. And then I'm going to install the side rails and the bottom rail. You can say, for instance, if you want to run grip, you can install the bottom rail instead of forward. You can install it a little bit backwards. Okay. Okay, so now I've got all the rails set up just the way I want I wanted them to be. And uh, so now it's time to get this on the gun. And uh, for that, I'm going to need these two parts. This is the uh, locking nut and this is the barrel nut. Very important thing here, you'll have to slide the locking nut first and only then the barrel nut. Screw and tighten very well the barrel nut using one of these double wrench keys. Just the barrel nut so that it aligns with these two pins right here. 
so so that it so that the rail will be aligned with the upper receiver with the rail on the upper receiver. So how is this done? Well, you'll have to do this with trial and error. So let's start. So right now, I believe I've got the position correctly, so you can see it's well aligned. So I didn't need to do anything. If I had, if I if it was a little bit skewed or to the right or to the left, I would have to tighten or loosen it a bit so that it would be on, so that it would be uh, properly set up uh, geometrically against the, the, the rail. Okay. So right now we're going to tighten the, the lock in it. This is the, the last part of the, of the process. Once this is done, this floating rail will be very well installed here. So, okay, there we go. And uh, as you can see, I could I could tighten it up a little bit more, either on the locking nut or on the barrel nut. But right now it's quite well. And as you can see, this is very lightweight solution. Very easy to grip, very comfortable, and you've got real space all on the sides, on top, and below. And this is a solution that I, a real solution that I really enjoyed using on the field. And so I hope you like this review, and hope to see you soon. Have a great day.